Combo Breaker! Welcome back to press, press Select for Options. Woo. With me, Jeff, Matt, Fred, Turn off. Jeremy. And Jeremy. Kind of sound like you forgot us for a second in between those. And also <laughs> presenting Matt's cat. So, today we're talking about Killer Instinct. Killer what? Instinct. Okay. Killer Instinct, the new one coming out for Xbox One. I want to get this out of the way right now. I really hate the fact it's only on Xbox One. Fuck you, Microsoft. So get to it, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the first thing we're gonna discuss is the price. Uh, the price point. Everyone's all up to date on that. Yes. So, uh, uh, what are you guys' feelings on that? Seeing as um, the you buy the game for twenty bucks, you get everything, but you don't get what the forty dollar thing includes, which is the original Killer Instinct. Um, the original Killer Instinct. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Uh, the, it includes. Uh, okay, so for. Stop doing it! <laughs> I'm sorry, on, I'm sorry. Keep Come going. On. I'm sorry. I was just wondering what's there, going there's, on. Just, 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 just for the viewers. Matt's just staring at Jeff. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Just for the viewers, there is a giant ass bug in my wall. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, to be, fi be fair, um, okay. Okay, can we. Yeah, go keep going. Yeah, go, I'm go, sorry. Go ahead. Um. Oh, right, yeah, so. Alright, so for 20 bucks. You get the full game of Killer Instinct. You get all the eight characters coming out with it. You get the story mode, which will apparently come later in the late, in the span of the game, which I don't really Wait, agree with. You get with. that with the twenty dollars. Yeah, you get that with the twenty dollars. Okay. You get you get story. You get, you get online. Okay. You get verses. You get training. You get your you know you, you get your standard shit, which is which is nice for twenty bucks for a game they've only been working on for what like not even a year. Or so, and then you got the forty dollar model, which includes all of that. Plus, you get the original Killer Instinct arcade port, which is, um, which is a nice thing. I think I feel like that's a nice uh, thing to include with it. Yes. And you also get like accessories. I yeah, I don't know what that means either. Accessories. 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 Yeah, I don't know what that means though. Like, what do they mean accessories? Video games, man. You gotta accessorize. Okay, so yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, Fred, Fred, me, what do you think? Me personally, twenty dollars. That's that's a nice price for a game. But the the forty dollars for costumes and other accessories, quote unquote. I don't know if I agree with that. Maybe thirty dollars I can agree with, but. Forty dollars. That seems like a little bit much, because when the second season comes around, there's gonna be another forty dollar pack, maybe. And that's we, like we eighty dollars for this whole game. If it has, like, is yeah, yeah. I just think. Sorry. What? Oh, no, 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 I'm no, I'm no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I make rematch. sure he's finished before I say something. Rematch. But I, I, I think forty is a little steep, especially when you can't really say what's bundled with it at the moment. Like accessories is not a selling point. You can't say accessories, in my opinion. You gotta, you gotta definitely let us know what's in that forty dollars bundle to warrant that price. I mean, like when I'm when I'm walking into a store and paying sixty dollars for a game, I know what's in that game. I know everything that it has to offer, besides maybe like story or something like that. But for to say to say you're getting the forty bucks, you're getting the characters, the stages, and accessories. I don't know. That's a little off-putting for me, at least. Yeah. Twenty dollars. I agree with that twenty dollars price point, though. That's pretty sexy. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think, Jeremy? Uh, I actually don't mind it all that much. I mean, I feel like, I don't know what the whole accessory thing is. That's so weird. But, I mean, I don't think $40 I mean, is that bad, because, I mean, you get, at least for the $40 thing, you get, you know, the game itself, you get, um, you get all the accessories, whatever accessories they're talking about. You get the skins for all eight characters, I'm assuming all eight characters. Um, you also get, you get the, that wonderful port. Of the first oh, oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you also get those costumes they were talking about. Oh, no, that warrants a whole twenty dollars. Yeah, but you got to remember, this is the first time the game's ever being ported it's, outside it's of the arcade. true. Well, I figure what you got eight characters. Maybe like each costume is gonna be like a dollar, so eight bucks. The original, not like it's gonna be come to total with like, you know another like what uh, twenty dollars, and then you get whatever other accessories. We don't even know what those are, but we we'll don't even count those. Oh, um, and then we got. You got the, uh, the arcade port itself, right? Yeah, the original version. Which I'm assuming is, uh, it'll be all HDified. It'll look a it'll lot be, nicer. Yeah. Which they, oh, it doesn't have any post? online, but they say they want to put it in. So I mean, I don't see any problem with that. I mean, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, and if the forty dollar really isn't your your cup of tea, there's always that wonderful twenty dollar pack. Yeah. There's also bad. something else that wasn't mentioned yeah. when we watched that video for it, uh, the demo thing, where all right, so you could you could download the demo. 
you'll have a character, right? And it rotates. I'm getting destroyed. Oh no! So you get you get a character, right? You'll get say you get Jago. Um, and with that you can buy you could buy a character. You could buy a character for five dollars. You don't have to have the whole roster. Yeah. Um, and they're doing it in rotation. So like one month it might be Jago, the next it might be Saber Wolf. Um, you know, uh, whatever. But what, what do you guys what do you guys think of that? Uh, of that, because when you get that demo, you can also go online with it too and play and have the full story well, with that character. It's just like it's just like any other of those free to port, like a lot of free to play games, where like, like for example, Tech Revolution, where like you start off with a set amount of characters and just gonna just happen to start out with Jago, and that's all you get for now. And then like over time, they'll just release more. I don't know how long it'll take, but they'll release more. And I mean, I don't, I don't think that's too bad either. I don't think that's too bad of a deal. I mean, you'll get a feel for the game. At least, at least it's something free to play when you yeah, first get it. and you get everything, which is not bad. You know, well, people like us, it would be weird, though. I mean, we usually just buy the whole package. Yeah, but if you're if you're buying a new console for five hundred dollars, because so, because uh, Microsoft has yet to reveal any sort of you know cheaper bundle or anything like that or cheaper alternative. I mean, to get a free game out of the box is is nice. That, that that's pretty much a, a finish, like technically a free game only with one character. Like, you, I mean, when we first when we all first got our our uh, PS3s, you know, free to play was not even a thing. Yeah. So I mean, like, it's 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 nice to look for. So so, what do you think of that one, Fred? The demo thing. Uh, demo thing sounds pretty sick. Because you remember, you get everything with that character. There's story mode. You can go into training, fuck around with them. You don't have to get the full roster. So for people who wanna, people who don't wanna commit to the whole game, but they still wanna play it, and all they want is like two or three characters. But if you bypass four characters, I don't. Know. I haven't just bought the full game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of silly, but for people who just want to play casually, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. So what do you, what do you got? What do you got for that? Friend? It will like let you get you know feel for the game see if you want to buy it. And twenty dollars, you might as well just go buy the game. It's twenty dollars. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's not that much. That's much. not. That's not. Well, if it's not your cup of tea, at least you got to try. For a yeah, exactly. Week, and let's let's stress that enough for a full. Retail game, even if it's digital, twenty bucks, brand new. That's, that's, that's a sick deal right yeah, there. That's a crazy deal. For and for a game, it looks so nice, which is gonna segue so beautifully right into the next thing: the look of Killer Instinct, the, the way the characters look now. Uh, I personally like the look of everyone so far. I feel like they've done a very good job. Yeah, they definitely redesigned the characters yeah. pretty well <laughs> they modernized them pretty damn well yeah so uh I mean, yeah let's get around to bad about that some of them looking at the older characters on you're like what is that it's... what was jago wearing he was wearing like a muscle shirt <laughs> that was like that had like a v-cut and his neck was like old and ridiculous so he's like he had thyroid cancer or something. You know, whatever thyroid i don't even know what that is don't no, mind my ignorance uh, but yeah, what do you guys think of uh, each of the characters that have been revealed so far in terms of the looks? Cause, uh, I mean, we've all played Kill of the First KI, right? Like on Super Nintendo? Yeah. I for, mean, for the most part. I like the way all the characters look personally. Jago is one of my favorites. I like G Thunder, he looks cool. Yeah. I, was, I don't know, they all look cool to me. Like, yeah. I like Saber Wolf, just the, the whole feral look. It looks, like, it looks really nice. <laughs> Jago, just, I think he looks way better than he does in the original KI. <laughs> I, I think, especially like with Glacius, whatever. Oh my God, that's such a change. He's not just like he's not like a humanoid blob anymore. Yeah, that's. It's a shame they didn't reveal Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> um, my personal favorite is, of course, I, I've been saying it to Jeremy for since I saw his Chief Thunder. He just looks so cool. In comparison to his original thing, which I guess at the time, you think back, what, 94, 95 or whatever, um, I guess that really did, that. all those designs did look pretty cool back then, but now, I got destroyed, so, uh, but now I really like, I really like how Chief Thunder turned out, especially with his stage. But he looks yeah. like, he looks like that badass guy who, who works in the, uh, in the back office at your job. And you really don't want to mess with him, but he's actually giving his whole paycheck to charity, like, he, he looks like that kind of guy, he's like, you really want that? Yeah. Really want that? Yeah, I'm good with character. As a um, oh, and as a as a little thing, uh, people might not know. Uh, I don't know how many people know, but Ken Lobb, the guy who made the original Killer Instinct, who was working on this one, is voicing Chief Thunder. That's that's super ridiculous to me. <laughs> 
I, I thought that was really cool. But after listening to it, I'm like, geez, this is really Ken Lobb talking. Like, yeah, I didn't even... what did he say? He's like, Bruh, blah, blah, blah. he just says, he's like, oh, oh, <laughs> what did you ask me at one point, Jeremy? Did that? Does you think that's a real Native American talk? I thought that was. It. Imagine. <laughs> I thought he actually learned like the actual language of Chief, whatever Chief Thunder, would whatever you, tribe he is. Would you like to? Would you like to uh, play Chief Thunder in our new game? I am very offended. <laughs> but but, uh, but yeah, we're all in agreement. So the new hooks are way better, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about the stages? Uh, I really like the new stages and how the music oh, yeah. influences the stage. Oh, I love Saber Wolf's like st stupid science shit that's popping off in the back. What about that bell? <laughs> that bell and Chaco's stage. That bell's way too. It's so fucking cool. The whole, all the stages look really nice, really, uh, really nice new designs, and they do um, as the fights go on. They're dynamic. They dynamically change. You know, yeah, over time. dynamic combo themes. <laughs> that's cool. Like, I, the Chief Thunder one was really nice. You know what I noticed about the stage? What? That's, uh, that's nice for the next generation. If you notice, like, that, I, I noticed it with that one stage, like the Tropical Storm, whatever. Mm. Uh, and you, even, the, even the Glacier stage. The, you notice that the background's not, like, a lower polygon count or anything, right? It's, like, yeah. high res. Yeah. High res, like, everything. Like, it looks really good. Like, in this, like... The models in the background, like those characters, yeah. you can tell they're like lower they're volume. Lower, on they're running at a lower frame rate. And they're, yeah. they're running at lower everything to keep the like the core game going. I like what they're doing with these next-gen consoles where like they have like a dedicated well, like, you know GPU and all this stuff for that. you got to admit, Nancy does look pretty cool. It does. You know what I'm saying? It really does. But you, you can see where, these ha where they yeah, have the no, sacrifice you see, in the background. Yeah, no, you see they have the sacrifice. Like, look at that guy taking pictures. That is the Street Fighter 4 guy. Like, come on now. Like... I, it's understandable. I mean, the Harvard can't really take something like that, but it looked like, especially in that tropical stage where like the storm yeah, and everything, that, that, that looked really good. Like I'm not even, a, I'm not even a big fan of like Killer Instinct. I played the originals. I haven't been keeping up with this new one besides what uh, Jeff's been going on with me Same and all that stuff. And it's just, it's like, it's really looking good. And as I said, it's like everyone else and Jeremy and Jeff and everything. It's a shame it's only on the Xbox One. It really is a shame. It but almost, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it makes me kind of want. But I mean, Microsoft, you know, they kind of. They struck, they struck early, and they were just like, hey, let's, oh, oh. let's get a deal. Let's get a deal going. Let's bring Killer Instinct back. And they did. They did, and they're doing a great job. And they'll call it a comeback. Well, bigger for years. well no, the Double Helix is. Double, double Helix is, is. Double Helix is taking their reputation, by the way, and making it a lot better. Because <laughs> they didn't work on great games before. So. It's very impressive. They're, they're crappy. They work on Mar what is it, uh, Green Lantern, Rise of the Manhunters. Oh. Yeah, that's them. Huh. Um, so, yeah, I mean, stages, characters, they look awesome. The dynamic music changes are probably the best thing about that. Um, you guys saw the new change-ups uh, with the camera pan out. Remember how it was only on the bridge stages and they would, like, pan out to yeah. see the rest of the stage? I think that's also really yeah. cool. Really no. Oh. That's hot. I mean, um... Bam, bam, bam. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of in terms of looks. Oh, what else? Um, <laughs> some of the other, oh, some of the other things that they mentioned in terms of looks is, uh, for example, Saber Wolf. How like, like um, when he's just standing there, he's kind of twitching all the time because of how much like science. I guess <laughs> science. He's pumped into his body. Well, it's not just that. Not just the I gotta go home and play cookie look, cooker. But if you also the whole new lighting, um, yeah, the lighting, the, the, the lighting system that they implemented. Like, if you look at it, for example, on Chief Thunder stage, when the rain starts kicking in, and like, if you win like a match or whatever, or if you look at him during the match when, when it's raining, like, you can see how much the lighting like really changes the colors of everything in that game, and it's really nice looking. Like, Saber Wolf just shines, and his fur just glistens. I know how gay that sounds, <laughs> but it it really does glisten in the freaking in the rain. It's, but, but I like uh, sorry. I like that a little like the little like I guess you can call it, like the ink splatter thing they're doing with that. Where, like they do specials and like they have oh, that, like. Yeah. Oh, I don't like, think it's. A, I think it's smoke. It's yeah, it's, it's more shadow. smoky. Like when they do shadow uh, shadow moves or, or like shadow headers or whatever it's called. That's yeah. That's more of like a smoke effect. Yeah. Oh. But no, it, it, that, the whole lighting effect that they are it's just really. Plain. Especially with Glacius, it really shows. It really shows Glacius off in a good. You know, way. speaking good of Glacius, way. they said something interesting when I was when I, uh, watching like a Maximilian video. Shout out to uh, Miles not you three. Check out his go check out his channel. Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct channel. But uh, he was he was talking. They mentioned something interesting in one of the videos, and that Glacius, like the color he is, the colors that he are, that he is, <laughs> you are <laughs> yeah. English. 
But uh, the colors, like for example, his default color blue, or the other one, the gold one, which is the yeah. blue one, or the the pink one. That's not the the outer suit. That's not the color. It's just refracting the light from the inside. So like his body, his actual body inside the suit is that color. Mm. And it's like the light that the suit is like just reflecting that light. To give it more of an organic yeah. fe uh, feel and look to it, which which is really cool. Another thing was. Um, I gotta go back to Chief Thunder because talking about this guy is so cool for some reason. I mean, he's an Indian who wields dual tomahawks that shoots lightning. How cool is that, right? So, um, one of the things about him when they were changing him is uh, to show like the the war paint he's got on himself. Like that was a pretty cool change, uh, just to show he's more Native American in uh, his origins. The the fit. The paint itself is like, the war paint's going down like it's just dripping off of him. But I thought that was really cool. Because that is, that's like Native Americans out of history books out of like, what, the West? Uh, when they went to, when they were forced out of, uh, uh, from the East, they went to West. When they were forced off the land in general. Yeah, yeah. When they, well, they were forced out into the desert. When they were forced out into the desert, they would typically wear what? For, uh, they war paint, right? That's where it would come from. And also his stage, is uh, Chief Thunder's stage, is based off of an actual place in the U.S. I have no idea where. It just looks really cool. I don't know how anyone could complain about uh, Chief Thunder's uh, stage. It just looks so grand in the back. It's just so cool with the whole dynamic effect of like, the music changing. And then when you do an ultra, that tornado just comes out of nowhere and just starts tearing up the place. Yeah, yeah. Oh! That you lived. I did. So, he blocked it. <laughs> so in closing, with this, um, we're all we're all liking how the new Killer Instinct looks, and we wish it was on <laughs> not just on Xbox One. Hopefully, who knows? Maybe in the future they'll be like, hey, let's put this on a uh, other system. Nope. After our deal with Microsoft. 3DS. I doubt it because I... Rare's. <laughs> Just to piss everyone off. So Rare's publishing it, and Double Helix is this. Double Helix is really weird. It's, it's like, it, Ken Lobb's looking over it from Rare, mm -hmm. but like Double Helix is making it, but Microsoft has like the final say in, I think, almost everything. They're probably paying them a nice chunk of money. What, for Killer Ernst thing? Yeah. Well, the Microsoft owns Killer Ernst. No, I'm saying like just to get the game out and all that. I, I don't know. Xbox One release. Oh. oh yeah, probably. I mean, they're they're really rushing it. They want it to be like, oh man, look, we have this fighting game that hasn't been out for like 18 years or so. Come play it, you know. I wonder how like much. I mean, I know we we played it. Even I don't know about all of you, but when I was young, I played it. I told you guys I played it on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, and um, I, I played it also on the Super Nintendo as well. But I mean, I played it. I I mean that's why I would play Killer Instinct because I played it back in the day, and and the new the new the new one looks really cool. It's just uh, I don't know how much how how much appeal that this game has to you know to everyone else. I know it's from what I've heard from all sorts of different sources. It's a real mashy kind of game, so anyone could just pick it up and play. Like Street Fighter Cross Tekken here, you can kind of mash shit out in this. Well, yeah, you know it'll work and it looks cool. You know that's just. That's just the thing of fighting games these days. They have to look, they have to look cool, you know, you really quiet That is a factor. Fighting games gotta look cool, oh. flashy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's press select for options, and we won. Finally. Took a long enough. Yep. Well, you put, you this put is, me on the team with this is, uh, this is Jeff. This is Matt, yeah, and Fred, and Jeremy, Jeremy signing off, <laughs> and also, and also, just the just a special note, uh, Matt's ceiling bug that lives up on his ceiling. It's about to get fucking wrecked. <laughs> I'll be no, anyway, no, 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 don't do it. Don't it's going. I moved, Jeff. Oh no. This whoa, this whoa, this is. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Pretty crazy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, uh, well, he's dead now. Jeremy's gone. That should be a good note to end it on my screen. The the bug's name is Jeremy. I just hope that we're going to rope. Um, yeah, so uh, look forward to our next uh, episode we talk about Kill Arns. Thank Go. Already, no. We already uh, ended it. We didn't end it? We didn't? No, we didn't end it. No. Make sure to check out the, the next the Smash the Talk. Ne Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out the next Kill Arns thing uh, okay. when we talk about that. Uh, we'll go over the system changes as well. All right, I guarantee you next time there will be no bugs on the wall. See you later, guys. Good night. Bye.